go. We're here uh, at the Cimarron Crossing of the Arkansas River. You can see the sand bed of the Arkansas River is that. It's just pure sand. It's all erosional stuff off the Rocky Mountains. When the Mormon Battalion arrived at this location on the 14th of September, 1846, the families camped on the north side of the river, while the majority of the battalion crossed to the south side and camped for the evening. It's over there that Alva Phillips died and was buried somewhere close to the river, and his gravesite has probably been washed away and lost to us. Although the battalion doesn't record having to dig for water at this location, I'm doing this as an example because tomorrow we'll be leaving the Arkansas River and heading out across the area where there was no water. Frequently as the battalion came up the river they commented on the fact that water would flow on the surface for a little while and then sink into the sand. Because of the irrigation that's taking place now, uh, the water table has been lowered and just for example, uh, whereas they said they could dig in the sand any time they wanted to for a foot or two and reach the water, I've dug now pretty close to three, three and a half feet deep and there's absolutely no sign of water in this hole. Let me pull out some sand from the very bottom and you'll see what I mean. That's the lowest I've gone. And you can see the fine grain texture of the sand but it's crumbly. There's just a hint of moisture. It's cool to the touch and it has a little bit of water in it uh, between the grains but there's no standing water in the hole at all. If you brush off the sand and lick a hand um, you can taste the alkali. It's not really bad. In fact, it's pretty good. I drink it. Just hope there's no cows upstream. But you can see now we're we're down a good all oh, to the surface and on my waist we're a good three feet deep and there's absolutely no trace of water seeping into the sand at this point. So the water table is considerably lower than it was in 1846.